Here it is. And, uh, yep, 14-9. There we go. By the way, rank split 2 has finished. It is now rank split 3. Which kind of sucks. Because, we, I mean, they're basically doing the thing that everyone does. Where they're trying to split up the, uh, the ranked season into multiple sections. To have FOMO and make people play longer and longer hours. Uh, and more and more throughout the... And basically, like, continue having player retention. Uh, which is annoying to me. Which is annoying to me. It's FOMO. I don't like FOMO. But regardless, it is what it is. And uh, that is that is what, uh, you know, every game does. Because so many games are uh, on publicly traded uh, game quarters. Uh, including right now. Welcome to patch 1419. And the start of Split 3. Huge system update. So, I can basically run this down. You could read the wall of text. And in fact... I think it might not be a bad idea if you want to see if your item and your build and your character is being nerfed. But the list is insane. If I went through every single list, it would take probably like an hour and a half. And I don't think anyone wants to waste that much time on League of Legends. Uh, but I will tell you, uh, I will tell you the brass tacks, what you kind of need to know. And I even have a helpful graphic. That I will try to put into the uh, into the uh, comments below. I'm not sure exactly how I'll do that. If I'll link to the graphics somehow. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but it's a little bit of a good information. Uh, based on uh, something very specific that I will talk about. <laughs> so. Before anything else. Let's go into the general information. Pretty much every single League item in the entire game is getting nerfed by a huge percentage. 5 to 12% of a nerf. This is a very, very big change, and it will change everything in League of Legends. Now, why are they doing this? Uh, they state they're doing this, and I, I actually agree with them, by the way. I, I think, uh, I, before anything else, let me just start with, I think this is a League W. I think there's too much damage in the game, and everyone is so quick to uh, get bursted down by, like, a single, like, global cooldown of CC. Like, if you get Morgana queued, you're just dead. And, or if you get knocked up by Yone or whatever, you're just dead. And, and the reason is there's just, like, so much overwhelming damage that no matter what kind of tank mitigation stats you build, no matter what kind of items you have, everything is a snowball-y damage fest. And that is a big problem with League. Basically, you ha are, are down to whoever has the better hands, and whoever has the uh, better ability to, uh, you know, convince everyone on your team to burst the guy who got CC'd. And if you're able to convince that uh, for your team in solo queue, you win the game. And if you don't, you lose the game. That is that is literally all that is going on in the game right now. That's why ADCs are so popular. Because guess what? Scaling is so good. When AD ADCs are in, uh, in pretty much every single role... Uh, it's because the game is super, super damage-centric. And uh, it's it's never a good thing. No one likes that. No one likes that. In fact, uh, League of Legends had a major patch. What is it, like a year and a half ago or something? Uh, it was called the Durability Update. And um, it was... Uh, they, they, they released some data on it later on, which is really cool. I know there's a diatribe. I don't care. Um, you guys are going to have to suffer through it. <laughs> but it's League-related, so, you know, it's, it's related to this. So it's not completely a diatribe. They released some data saying that the uh, after the durability update, there was, of course, the very loud minority of uh, angry bitches called ADC players uh, who complained about, you know, tanks are so strong. Oh, my God, tanks are so strong. Why are they so strong? Uh, but besides that idiotic small minority, which is, of course, the very loud minority, um, besides them, player satisfaction after the durability update was at an all-time high. And there was less toxicity than ever. Why is that? It's because mistakes weren't so costly that you're going to lose the game. It's not that if you were one step out of line, you were going to get one shot by Tristana. Or whatever. Like, you weren't going to get one global cooldown. And then, of course, they reverted the durability update. Because League of Legends is addicted to listening to their most idiotic and loudest minority in the game which is which is adc players i mean 
the the idiotic toxic ADC players is something that they always listen to. I don't know why. I don't get it. I don't get it. But they did. And so they reverted a lot of the changes in the durability update. Um, so they're basically doing that again, but in a different way. Instead of adding durability in the game, they're reducing damage across the board. And we'll look at what types of items are being affected. We'll look at why, and we'll look at the general thing. But the, basically what they're trying to do is make it so you're not destroyed in one global cooldown in the game. That's what the, that's what they're hoping for. And I think this is a W. I think this is a good thing. There's too much damage in the game. There's too much snowballing. Uh, and also, everything is reliant on how much gold you have. Because all of your power is really based around items. Whereas in previous metas, and tankier metas and so on, um, it's slower metas, really. Uh, basically, a lot more of your power was into your champion's kit. And so now it doesn't really matter if you're playing Tristana mid, or Zeri mid, or Corky mid, or, you know, insert ADC mid here. It's just that you're playing at ADC because ADC items are the things that are busted. That's what they're trying to avoid. And uh, instead, now, it, it, hopefully, they're trying to go back to a time where you can build, uh, you know, items to actually affect the game, but you are you are really focused on what character you're picking, your character's base stats, and so on and so forth. Because any direct nerf to to uh, items is a buff to base stats. You can think of it that way as well. Uh, because that you don't have to buy. It's just built into your kit. You're built into leveling, built into experience. This also buffs experience. This also buffs being able to lane well. Because if you're able to lane well and survive and get levels, you are basically getting stronger than just through gold. Uh, th this is this is like kind of the general meta discussion here that's going on. Uh, at least that's my read on it. That's reading between the lines. <laughs> now, um, yeah, they, they want to say slow down combat pacing, reduce snowballing, make overall combat in the game more readable. Um, I don't think they're actually going to be able to do this because I've looked through these patch notes. I've not seen any news on whether they're going to make abilities more readable. There's nothing I've seen that points to that. So, uh, yeah, I think that's just bullshit. <laughs> but, yeah, like, it, it's, you can, it, dude, team fights are such a mess sometimes. If you have, like, characters with massive AoE, say, Orianna, uh, you know, uh, freaking uh, Zyra, you know, just, like, the list goes on and on and on. And, and there's just so much AoE in the game. And it's, like, so hard to see everything sometimes. Uh, Hereta Fuyu, my friend. Pleasure to meet you. What kind of games do you enjoy? Uh, we're, um, but the other thing is... That's really good. They are re-adding Lethal Tempo. Huge! Because they took it out and on-hit characters were basically left in the lurch. Theory. And she had like a literal existential crisis. And she's like, everything is fake? And I'm like, well, not every... But, uh, you know. <laughs> it was one of those situations. It was one of... Those... By the way, guys, is the patch live? Do we know if the patch is live? I wonder if the patch is live. Um, in case you were going on a point need to continue it, you're talking about uh, hits... Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's live? Okay, we might have to play some League later tonight or something. Uh, because Lethal Tempo is back in the game. So going back to it, Lethal Tempo is back in the game. Um, and, and they're changing it up a little bit. They're basically making it less good for early laning and better good, bigger good, for late game. So good for scaling characters, good for on-hit characters, good for my on-hit Udyr. So I'm excited because on-hit Udyr was a pretty darn relatively okay uh, when right before they took Lethal Temp out. My, my win rate with my uh, on-hit Udyr was straight up like 65%. And then they took Lethal Tempo out and I had to, like, figure out another way. And I was, like, you know, working with various things. First strike, this and that. Like, various other ways to try to get a similar-ish effect. But nothing was hitting, like, the lethal tempo. So they changed it a bit. And uh, they're basically adding extra on-hit damage when you fully proc it. Uh, so great sustained damage. And uh, it's still, you know, it doesn't destroy attack speed purchases. Like, they're, they're making some good changes with it. So hopefully it works well. Hopefully it works well. Uh, and, uh, beyond that, uh, I will, uh, showcase something very interesting here. Very interesting here. Let me see if I can find the thing. 
this is the thing that I'm supposed to, uh, I'm supposed to, uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to put in to, um, uh, the, the comments below. So, uh, we will, we will test and see if this works. Uh, but this is, this is the thing. So all you need to do, all you need to do is look at this chart. And this chart will tell you a general, I found this chart online, very helpful chart. And basically what someone did, it was, it was, I think macro or something, some big league creator. Um, he, uh, uh, and it's been, I don't know exactly who did it earlier. People have been attributing to themselves all day. So who knows who really put this together? It wasn't me, but I did confirm the information. Um, basically this is like the general, how much each item is being nerfed. And, um, so, uh, trailblazer, which is borderline useless. That's being giga buffed. Uh, gold efficiency wise. So this guy, uh, whoever did it, basically took all the information from every single part of the patch notes for the items. So uh, let's go down like uh, bah, 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 bah. Uh, like right here. And and they basically, there's, there's an assigned gold value to every single stat in the game. And um, uh, what this guy did, whoever it was, and if you ever find out whoever it was, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, and I'll happily attribute, but I mean, there's, there's just too much information on who is, who did it. And so who knows who the person is, uh, but yeah, so basically what they did was they did the math, the Reddit, they did the math, they did the math. And, um, uh, basically this information I can verify is not a hundred percent correct, but it's like pretty darn correct. So you, you can use this as a pretty good guideline. Uh, if your character builds trailblazer, then you'll be very happy if you're a Ramus main or whatever. If your character builds, uh, uh, you know, Sundered Sky, Wits End, Stride Breaker, <laughs> things like that, things like my Udyr does, uh, then then you're being giga nerfed. So there's like a lot of general information here. Uh, so definitely look at this chart. Basically, brass tacks, guys. Tank items in general are less hit, which means they're getting a lesser nerf. And so generally, they'll be stronger next patch. Bruisers are being giga hit, like oh, big hit, big hit. So um, that is that is going to be very very rough for me. Uh, and uh, you know that, that's, that's okay. I don't I don't mind this. Uh, I can adapt, and also I have lethal tempo, so I can build less bruiser items, and I can build more like you know on hit stuff. Like instead, like I'm I'm probably gonna build um uh, since since attack speed I get in lethal tempo now. I'm going to be building probably um, a Bloodthirster first item. Things like that. Like, there, there's different ways to mitigate the issue. But I just want you guys to know. Um, also, some of these some of these issues are, like, crazy. Like, dude, Trinforce was already trash. Like, Trinforce was already dog. And so the fact that it's, like, on the huge nerf list, and I did confirm the items because, like, dude, I love Trinforce. Uh, I hate that it's so shitty right now. And it's much worse now. So it's like, oh god, what the hell is going on, man? What the hell is going on? Uh, but yeah, yeah, Trend Force is getting absolutely gutted. Um, uh, Black Cleaver gutted. IE is getting gutted, which is why they're directly hitting a lot of uh, a lot of ADCs, and they're directly hitting the ADC mid meta and so on and so forth. Uh, this this is a big thing. Uh, some things are really good here, really good here. Randuins, which is the anti crit item, uh, you know, uh, item. Uh, that's getting buffed. That's a big W, big W. Um, you know, there, there's, a, there's a lot of very, very important items that are being changed around. So your mileage may vary, but in general, sustained AP is going to be a little bit worse. Burst AP is going to be a bit better. Tank is a bit better. And by a bit better, I mean a lot better. Uh, like just straight up tanks, like, you know, Orn, Sejuani, like these... Big Giga Tanks, the ones that build things like Trailblazer, uh, you know, uh, Frozen Heart, you know, all these these kinds of items and stuff. Anyone who builds these kinds of items is going to be eating pretty good in this patch. Pretty darn good. Um, uh, I think that, uh, you know, obviously I, I said it before, Bruisers are getting gutted. Um, I think that uh, uh, ADCs, crit ADC, like straight up like hard crit is getting a little nerfed. Uh, sustain ADCs are a bit better. Uh, and, uh, any other character archetypes? Support. Supports are going to be better. 
Uh, because, like, you know, sustained support items, this little bell item and everything like that, these are sustained support items. Uh, locket and um, Rod of Flowing Waters. Staff, sorry, Staff of Flowing Waters. Uh, these items are hit less hard, which means they're going to be stronger overall. Uh, and also, when the game slows down, sustained supports are better. Enchanter supports. I, I call them sustained supports. But, you know, Sona, Seraphine, Nami... Uh, all, all, all them, all them. They're going to be stronger next patch. So uh, there you go. That's the uh, basically the brass tacks. That's what you need to know. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you have a particular character you're worried about, if you have a particular character that you think is going to be stronger or weaker and you want to ask me about it, I will happily tell you specifics. Uh, but that's like the basic brass tacks. I don't think there's any reason to go through everything. Tristan is getting gutted. Uh, she deserves it. Uh, Vlad is getting really hit hard. He was He was breaking the meta. Uh, but besides that, yeah, there you go. There you go, my friends. Let me know in the comments below what you all think. And I uh, can't wait to see you in the next video. Are you a big fan of this change? If, if you are or are not, let me know. Uh, is your class and characters being nerfed? Let me know in the comments below. And catch you in the next video.